Hello, and welcome to a quick tutorial about how to access Dwight Global's Canvas platform and take the Math Placement Assessment course. First thing you want to do is enter the email you provided us to take this assessment and also enter the password shared in your instruction email. If you'd like to, you can click Forgot Password and reset your email right away. But the easiest way is to go ahead and enter the password shared with you. Now, once you log in, you'll see one course on your dashboard. You see Dwight Global Placement Assessments. Go ahead and click on that course. This will bring you to the home page of the course. You do want to spend a few minutes carefully reading through the instructions on this page. Once you've read them, you can click modules here or modules on the side, and that will take you to what you're going to do. As mentioned in the email, we want you to complete your three preparation checklist items, which is reviewing our technology requirements, learning about our academic integrity policies and agreeing to them, and doing a practice activity. Doing these three things will prepare you for your assessment. So you'll want to do them in order. What I will highlight is this practice activity. This practice activity is set up to model the setup of the actual math placement assessment you will take. You want to carefully read the instructions. You'll need a scanning device or a, um, whether that's a phone or a printer, um, pieces of paper uh, to do the assessment on if you to show your work on if you don't print it out. And you'll know if there's a time limit. Once you've read all these instructions yourself, you want to copy this access code and you'll go ahead and start it. Once you've started the assessment, you'll see that it keeps a timer for you here. You'll review the instructions again. It really gives you a lot of instructions about the setup of how you access your test and what you'll do. You either print out this document that's gonna open here when you click it'll open, or you get blank sheets of paper and you'll show your work in an organized fashion there. Now, you wanna solve each problem on the paper. Once you've solved problems, you'll be entering your final answers in these boxes. When you're all done with your work, you're going to take a picture of each page of your work and merge it into one document, or you can go ahead and scan your work. Once that's scanned, you're gonna watch this tutorial and learn how to upload your work to this uh, Canvas assessment. And that will be right here where you're uploading your file. Doing this in a timely manner is going to help you uh, prepare for the assessment. If you do this practice work and you have any tech issues or any questions, please do let us know. Now I'm going to go back here. Now you'll only see one assessment there and that's the assessment you're assigned to. And that's how you'll begin. You wanna review the instructions here. Each test has specific requirements and you'll know. You'll know how much time you'll have. You're given three hours to do this assessment. You cannot start and stop the assessment. Even if you close the window or you go away, the timer is still running. So you must do this in all in one sitting. So make sure you have enough time. Every test will give you an estimate of how much time the test will actually take. You do have additional time to take pictures of your work and upload it. No worries there. If anything does happen during the assessment, please do reach out to us. And that is math placement at dwight.global. Once you finish your test, you'll upload your work, hit submit, you're complete. Our team will follow up with you. Uh, you the math department and your dean will follow up with you on your math placement at Dwight Global.